The Gen Control plugin is a powerful tool that enables users to essentially control the console from within the DAW. Yeah, so the way this works is like any other plugin, you apply it to one of your tracks and it sits on the track. What, mono or stereo as well? Of course, and it sends information to the console. So it enables you to automate certain key features of the desk. So looking at the plugin, we've got the EQ section, the dynamic section, the channel strip controls, your auxiliary and things like that, and you've got your main fader all in the one screen. Yeah, set out exactly the way that the Genesis channel strip is. Now, when you, you change the channel from, say, channel eight to channel nine, and these are different EQ cards on the console, you'll see here that the plugin window changes accordingly. So on the bottom of the plugin, we've got the channel strip section. And this allows you to independently control the inserts, the EQ in and out, dynamics in and out, all the auxiliaries, and the small and long fader. Yeah, you can also control the auxes at certain sections of the song. So this can now be automated. So if you, if you have a vocal that only requires a reverb or a specific process. Like a snare hit. Yeah, in a certain section of the track, this can now be automated as well as your insert point. So if you have a, a compressor that only needs to be put on to a, an instrument at a certain part in the track, this can now be drawn in in your DAW automation. And now with the plugin, you've got the ability to automate the monitor fader as well. So previously, only DAW automation was available to Genesis Black users. But now with the Gen Control plugin, you can automate everything post processing. So you can automate the fader motions, post EQ, and post dynamics that uh, you mix down process. So it gives a whole lot more power to Genesis Black users now being able to wear completely in the box with the analog process. So as well as the channel strip option of the plugin, you also have the master section. So when you set this to master on your plugin window, this new window will appear and it'll open up all the master section controls within the plugin. So your A track, your master fader. Yeah. All of that stuff can now be automated from within your DAW. So I can now automate a drum fill in on any track bus, for example. Exactly, or any of your reverb returns can be controlled. And also your insert points for your main master, your master fader itself, so you can create your main mix fade outs and your IMR return. So I can now apply automation to external mix bus processing straight to the whole of the entire track. <laughs>